15th of July, Wednesday, 2020. Piot here, this Light Forest Global YouTube channel. Good afternoon from Europe. Good morning, good evening, whatever you are, guys. It's my pleasure to make the update for you right after the US cash open. Um, I was not able to record anything this morning because we were preparing together with Michal very interesting pre-ECB uh, pre uh, report. Uh, hopefully it's going to be visible later today or very early morning tomorrow. Uh, I truly believe you are going to like it. Now, without a further delay, taking into the consideration vaccine op optimism, taking into the consideration uh, Bank of Japan, Bank of Canada non-events uh, with OPEC, uh, EEA and Beji Book uh, ahead, let's check a few charts right here, right now. All right, guys. Let's start with a dollar yen because we are testing very, very uh, interesting uh, level when it comes to uh, that uh, particular cross. Taking into the consideration the full, you know, move to the upside when it comes to the indices uh, based on this uh, vaccine optimism, based on the Goldman Sachs uh, earnings reports, based on everything, whatever you want to count it. Uh, Totally different uh, picture we have on the yen crosses. Uh, Bank of Japan, no change. Uh, well, almost like non-event. And right here, right now, the dollar yen is trying to go and move below the weekly open blue dotted blue dashed line, as you can see here, right? Uh, the last line of the defense, right, is this is a possibility of the over under we've seen uh, on the daily chart, but that means that maybe a little bit more stop to the downsides. Uh, I don't know, uh, but we should start to reverse somewhere here. Anyway, I'm um, long dollar yen from the intraday perspective, and I'm trading like been trying to scale in based on intraday chart. So I'm already in based on the weekly open right and now i'm trading this over under from the intraday perspective and for now my stop is a few pips below this friday friday low i've been thinking maybe the local weakness over here is going to hold right well unfortunately it didn't for now and I'm afraid it could turn out to be drop base continuation. And if we are going to take out the low, well, I'm going to be out. But uh, the overall bulls on the dollar yen going to be in trouble, trouble. So as of now, I'm long dollar yen. Now, let's switch to the another one. Cable, a little bit better UK CPI and overall dollar weakness during the European session pushed cable again higher and we were retesting again some supply so uh some stops based on the monday new york uh session high been taken out now we have nice rejection and we are getting back below weekly open i'm holding short from the intraday perspective partially took the profit i also added from the medium term perspective so we will uh, we will see well how to how to join the party to the downside well the close we've seen here below 26 15 26 10 right confirmed that probably we are going to go that way especially that the comments related to the brexit are no pound positive right so what i'm looking for in case in case of the renew uh some uh pound short position i already took profit on it's retest of the 26 10 26 15 and continuation to the downside that's how i see the cable and here again right 26 15 and maybe spike towards a weekly open that zone over here that's the selling zone for me when it comes to the intraday chart uh, on cable over to the next one euro dollar well bulls were able to hit more stops 
uh, to the upside and well for a moment we were trading above last FOMC high we are trading above last ECB high right but more about that from the macro perspective it's something we record with Michal earlier today and it's gonna be uh, visible soon uh, the movie is rendering so hopefully we are going to get it quickly it's a really really good one and I'm strongly encourage you to watch ahead of the ECB uh, ECB tomorrow uh, so sub click the subscribe click click the ring uh, button and you're gonna be you're gonna be informed when it's uh, on the channel now from the intraday perspective well guess what I think that we went too high too fast ahead of the ecb especially that it might turn out to be not only ecb more on the movie i just mentioned uh, a second a second ago right i think this type of the channel so if you are going to take out today's low uh, more weakness to come when it comes to the to the euro dollar right so that's how i see the things when it comes to the three uh, majors now also well we haven't seen more fireworks to the downside just tiny stop count right so it was clear that some move to the upside could take place well from the weekly chart perspective we hit some more stops and there is a nice rejection uh, just few minutes before we start our meeting uh, i opened it intraday short on the aussie with that stop above this upper shadow what i'm trying to trade my first target is the mid of this latest consolidation so we are talking about the levels close to 69.70 69.60 that's aussie finally you when it comes to the currencies right finally usd cut because we are just post bank of canada rate decision again similar to what we've seen from uh, bank of japan no change so what we have here we have supply somewhere around here we have demand based on some kind of the latest uh latest weakness more to the more to the left side okay so that's possible supply that's possible demand and latest weakness a little bit higher right so we are right here right now in the middle of where we are in the middle of the range all right nothing extraordinary so what i'm looking for we have within the next few minutes we have the press conference from the bank of canada all right so if we are going to see some kind of the stop count lower right maybe stop count based on Maybe stop count based on uh, Monday low, right? Uh, retest of these levels, right? Of this latest weakness and building the lower shadow. So end of the day is going to be looks like this. That could be the long setup. But that's USD cut and we discussed the dollar uh, crosses a bit. I'm not going to be surprised to see cut yen weakness at some point as uh from the daily chart perspective right after the quiet a quiet nice move to the downside all right we are consolidating all right so i'm looking for continuation to the downside i'm looking for 50 percent of that old consolidation i'm looking for 76 80 right so if we are going to break weekly open for good right i might try to join that party to the downside okay so uh weekly open there you go okay we are trying we are trying so that's that's very interesting right especially that after the break below that's the supply right and we just we just hit that supply but here we need weaker oil here you have to uh, listen carefully to the news from opec plus okay um, ea within the next seven minutes and you have to wait for press conference uh, so london fix uh, bank of canada press conference 
maybe another spike rejection and move lower guys it was my pleasure to make this fx update for you after the us cash open if necessary i will be back again around the us close take care don't be trapped and see you around goodbye